Hello friend, welcome to the Java Puzzle. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about map struct and this is a mastering map struct series and this is the first video and in this video, we will firstly create a normal API application using the Spring Boot Lombok without map struct. Okay, so we will see why we need map struct and what we are going to using the map struct so let's go so firstly uh, i open the spring initializer and uh, i just uh, add the dependency jpa web mysql driver and lombok so i quickly open my project and here you will see in the pom.xml i just add all these dependencies then uh, swagger uh, i am using the doc open ai starter web mvc ui and the java version is 17 so and i just add uh, in the resource i added my details of the database now let's jump into the coding part so i'll close this i close so i created for uh, some repo uh, some package controller dto model repository and service so in the model you can see there is a contact in the contact we have a id first name last name email and phone number then we created a repository corresponding to the contact entity so after that uh, we create a service and in the service you will see we created some uh, save contact get contact by id get contact list and we have a dto class so in the dto in contact dto we have the same things which we have in a uh, in a entity class so you will see first name last name email phone number and id the same we have in a dt and this is a control so i quickly open this and i will run the application and show you it is working fine then we will go ahead with our implementation of our map so our spring boot application is up and running now go to the browser and here I'll just run this so we have a swagger open air definition so here you will see this is a post so firstly I'll remove this ID and in the first name java puzzle and email id is java puzzle at youtube.com and phone number is 12345678999 okay i'll just add click on the execute and here you will see data is insert uh, let's validate in the mysql also so i'll refresh it and here you will see my abstract example and in this contact is here and here also okay so database is fine so let's quickly check the other endpoints is also working or not so just execute it and here you will see the responses come same for uh get i try it out all things are done now we are good to go with our map struct implementation so when everything is fine then why we need map struct so for this question you can see here uh, we have a request body as a contact dto and in a return we are getting the contact right so let's suppose if i will go inside this contact here you will see in our service class we are going to map our contact dto into a contact and then we are going to save because this repository is know about the contact the contact repository don't know about the contact dto what is the contact dto uh, in the same method you can see firstly we have to map our contact dto into a contact entity class and then we are going to save samely if we will see here in get contact by id here you will see this find by id is returning a optional of the contact right and but return type is the contact dto because sometime in the in the contact dto if you will see uh, in contact you will see some data we don't want to show in a response let's suppose email id we don't want to share or phone number we don't want to share uh, in a response so in that case in the dto we will only add the first name and last name but if we are not using the dto in that case all these data will be returned as a response which is not a best practice so we need dto right so if we are using a uh, contact repository dot find by id so it will return me a uh, option of the contact with all the details right so we need to map again with in a reverse manner so in this time we are going to map contact 
class into our contact DTO and then we will return our contact DTO as a response whatever response we want in what manner we so that we have to map same for the find all right in the find all also we are we are getting as a contact of optional contact of a stream right and we are going to map into a contact DTO object but what happen if we have a 10 or 100 attributes in a class so that would be the tedious stuff for us right so in that case to overcome this issue we have a map struct what is map struct map struct is a code generator that greatly simplify the implementation of mapping between java bean type based on the convention over configuration approach the generated mapping code use simple plain method invocation and thus is fast type safe and easy to understand and it generate bean mapping at compile time which ensure a high performance allow for fast feedback and thorough error checking we have some techniques a mapping technique uh, we will going to see in series so first one is a basic map so we will start with the fundamentals how to perform basic mapping using map struct and it is the building block for more advanced time. then we will see mapping field with different names what if your field don't have the same no worry map struct has got your cover and learn how to map field with different name effortless then we will see mapping bean with child bean things get interesting when we are dealing with beans that have child discover how map struct simplify mapping scenario then we will see mapping multiple source class so need to map data from multiple source in that case map struct allow you to do this seamlessly and we will explore how to handle multiple source class like a pro then we, we will see mapping with type converse sometime you might need to convert between different types like from date to string or string to date something like that so in that case map struct make type conversion a breeze and let's unlock this powerful feature in upcoming lecture then we have a mapping enum so enum play a crucial role in many applications so we will see how map struct handle enum mapping and making your code cleaner and more efficient then we will see the two annotation after mapping and before map so we will see the use of these mapping and we will go deep deeper into map struct with use of after mapping annotation and before mapping and these allow you to perform action after or before the mapping process adding a layer of customize then at the last I will show you some bonus techniques so stick around for some bonus technique and we will see your additional tips and tricks to enhance your map struct skill so let's see how we are going to do so let's get a start so firstly we are going to start with the basic mapping